All right, guys, welcome to episode 172 of Don't Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go check us out on Patreon if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, we're back with another one. We appreciate y'all, like I said. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. We back. We back at it. We back at it like a crack at it, huh? You know how we do it. You Amen. know what I mean? It's a beautiful that's Sunday. That's how it goes. Round of applause to everybody that's tuning back in once again. If you're coming from church or you, you know what I mean? You're coming from the house or work, whatever you're doing, or man. You're stumbling back into your house from a long night, whatever you're doing. Hey, you know man. I, mean? I hope you had a good weekend, though. Yeah, facts. Hope everybody had a blessed one. But uh, yeah, man, we're going to get right into the shits today. There's no fucking around. We know this is a YouTube episode, but who cares? All right? Yeah. We're we- going to get straight to it. We getting straight into it, man. How so, we feeling today, Johnny? Let them know. I'm kind of pissed off, man. I'm kind of pissed off of what's going on, man. What's been going on in the world, especially here in the States these past couple of weeks. It's been kind of rough, kind of weird. A lot of weird shit's been going on. A lot of weird shit. I agree. I agree, you know what I mean, with all these shootings and all. Yeah, first, the one in Buffalo, New York. Then we got we got one at this elementary school in Texas. You know the yeah, one. Yeah, that's the one that really, like. I mean, you they're know. They're all fucking tragic. But to go into a elementary school and just start shooting something up bro that's a different level of de- like that's a different level of evil to me like yeah. that's the devil bro like that's like yeah like that's definitely like, the those devil are kids man like kids kids bro like witness that woman one of the the teachers that died imagine you're like you know like your wife is going to work by you know you come back and hey your woman i mean your your wife is is dead you know, you know, he died from a heart attack, right? The next, like, the next couple of days. Bro, the he, husband. He, bro, from, that, from a broken that heart. Would, yeah, like, that really will fuck you up, man. People like, die it's like just, that. Like, bro, you, it's sadder when it's really not expected. Like, at an elementary school, bro, like, the teacher, the kids, I think, I think it was like eight, 20 people killed in total or something like that, like 18 children, two adults. Rest in peace to every single last one of them, man. Like our condolences definitely go out to you guys, the family, the friends, that community that was affected, bro. That's a tragic loss of life, a negligent act by somebody that's ignorant, bro. Like yeah, an and they're ignorant, talk- stupid motherfucker. They're talk. They're talking about like it's the gun's fault and like people. We're, we're back to the gun thing, man. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, how did this kid get guns? We don't know. Who knows? You know what I mean? Who let him? I mean, there's no background check. I, I'm not 100% sure on the laws on, on how it is in Texas, but I'm pretty sure you could just walk into a store and buy it because I know that you don't need a license or something like that. I know that it's like it's like that in Kentucky, too, where it's like you could just fucking carry a rifle or whatever and just do whatever the fuck you want. But it, it's crazy to me because, like, all this stuff is happening. Parents, you need to go to your, your school and you need to, like, walk into your school and see how easy it is for you to just walk into your school and see how many people question you. How many people, hey, what are you doing? Where's your pass? Like, we need to, like, really need to start putting our schools, like, like more safer. Bro. And like, like, for real, for real. Like, like just it's getting put out it of hand in, now. Just put it into your budget. Like, you guys get a budget every year. Take a certain amount of that budget and put, like, an armed police officer at the front of the school just for that. Or like wherever, like it doesn't, wherever they they're at, but they're on school grounds with a vest, a rifle. They're military trained. Like there's plenty of veterans that would love to do that job, bro. They, there's plenty of veterans that would do that job for free. Yep, they would go to a school every school every school day and make sure that there there's not an active shooter situation. It's- and if there is, they'll handle it. Like there's there's plenty. I don't understand, bro. Like they put so much money into so many things, like. We're sending forty billion to Ukraine, bro. But we can't take a small percentage out of that fucking forty billion and make sure our schools are safe and make sure that there's an active shooting, you know, like protocol that at every school. Yeah, it's, like it's it's crazy come to on, me, bro. man. I don't understand this shit. Yeah, Biden signs a forty billion aid package for Ukraine during the trip to Asia, which is it, it just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't because it's like why don't why aren't we using this 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 money for us? Why I've always we, said that. Why are we using our money to protect our schools and our children? Always now it, now that, it's getting bro. to the point where it's like it's a cycle and nothing's happening. And I really feel like there's an agenda being placed there. Like no, now, there has like been. What for, else, like what there else is there going to be? a while, bro, because it doesn't matter what side, if it's left, right, 
red, blue. Doesn't matter what administration it is, they always find a way to go spend money somewhere else and not spend money here. And like, like imagine, bro. Look at what happened in Iraq when they left fucking what was it? Like eighty billion dollars worth of fucking shit there, bro. Guns. Are and you weapons. kidding me? That's crazy. That money could have went to this that we're talking about, making sure that there's no people hungry here, making sure that there's no people in schools getting shot the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and to be honest, like it's, I'm not trying to be like back to the politics, but it's like, bro, like, our. <laughs> Like who we have, like who we have as a president right now, I feel like is 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 failing, and I feel like things are not going to change with this administration that we have now. Things are not going to change. Like if Trump was in office, like this, I'm telling you, things would be so much differently. Like it would be so much different. Like people don't understand. Like they don't they don't understand what what like what we had until it was gone. Like. Now, they do you understand. Know? They're just too prideful to admit it, bro. Like, and no, one, I'm not and a, no one's I'm talking not a about huge, it. I'm not a huge Trump fan, but Biden is weak, bro. He makes our country look weak overall, man. It's, like, at the end of the day, bro, like, we need a commander in chief that knows what the fuck they're doing and they're cap- <laughs> capable of handling problems and thinking of solutions and actually putting them forth into action. Like, and we then, can't just sit here and fucking let, like, we looking bad, bro. That we're woman, looking bad. That Russia's woman, looking strong, bro, and and North Korea is looking real fucking strong, bro. That woman and they're that's both, stuck. They're not allies, my nigga. That you know wo- what I'm saying? Like that woman that's stuck there, the the NBA player or the W, uh, the woman's NBA hey, player. You know what I say to you? Who the fuck told you to go over there? It's not even that. It's like it's <laughs> like if Russia's just holding them because of like, hey, like what are you gonna do about it? Like for real? Like there's like what are you gonna do about it? And I think that if Trump was in office, we would have got her back. A I feel like if Trump ago. was in office, bro, that would have. I it, don't think that would think They would have attacked like that. Yeah, I really don't think they would have attacked like that because they're just attacking, bro. They're taking over. It's but, a full on. It's exactly what the Nazis did to you know. What I'm saying to other parts, uh, you know, in Germany, like that's what they were doing. They were just going through, blowing shit up, stomping shit down, uh, and this is ours now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, but at if, the end of the day, man, like. When it comes to that particular situation, like, yeah, don't send the 40 fucking billion over there, bro, because we could use it for us. Yeah. That's an internal yeah. problem. They're, they're, that's a, that to me, I look at it like a family problem. Like you agenda. let them handle that shit, bro. Like that's it's like when the Civil War happened over here. You know what I'm saying? And it was the North versus, versus the South and like it, it would have been like England coming in and helping either side. It's like, nigga, this is a internal problem we have in the in America. This has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Don't the, come over here and help either side like yeah the agenda like there isn't there i'm telling you like people think we're fucking crazy over here because we we think we're conspiracy theories and like and all this shit like no bro like listen like this could be possible there could be agenda being placed by the government to do crazy stuff mm-hmm. you're talking about nine everybody knows that 9 11 was an inside job why wouldn't this be an inside job why wouldn't be why wouldn't any of these other why you're telling me they can't fucking get a crazy motherfucker on the street and do some crazy shit and convince him with money. I don't know. I don't know. Cause it's like, we're at the cycle of like, it's happening a lot now. Like it's really, Bro, it's, ha- all, and, and, it's and all it's a like, plan. It's all a plan. And there's people that go haywire, but there's also yeah. agents, bro. It's there's like, also yeah. agents. Like there's people that are sent out into different things, bro, for different reasons. Like uh. people talk about it a lot more in the last like 10, 10, 15 years in the music industry. Bro, there's real agents in the music industry that are there to make sure that things go a certain way and they benefit certain people and certain things get fucking done. Yeah, Period. it's like it gets deeper and than it, that. It, it, it goes above the music industry. That goes into the government. Mm-hmm. That goes into the government, bro. Like, they're all buddy-buddy. You can't sit here and think, like, in all honesty, bro, like, people talk about World War Three and this and that and blowing each other up. That's not going to happen. There's too much money to be made with, with each other. These are all internal affairs. These are all things that need to be done, but they need to be made look a certain way so that the so that the public eye doesn't go fucking crazy. And yeah. be like, wait, this was just all over oil or all over money? That's what you're telling me? It wasn't over pride and, and, and getting attacked and defending our country? That's not what it was. It was over money. People will go crazy. Yeah. If they really found out the truth about why people like why certain governments do certain things, but at the end of the day, man, like we need to start putting America first. Yeah, like, bro, spend we, the money here, bro. We spend need to, the money here, like America first. Like, there's a reason why Trump had that as fucking slogan. 
make America for um, make America great again. And we need to put America first because it's true. We need to make us great again. We're yeah, not bro. what we were. We're not we're not the great America in other countries. It may look like it, but we're not we're not going in a good direction. We are not headed in a good direction. In my opinion, I feel like we're headed to a really, really rough next couple of years. Like for real, for yeah, real. the economy is going to get worse, man. Like the economy is going to get worse. Like, and we're, we're talking about, Oh, like we're running out of baby formula and we're sending money overseas, bro. Our women need baby formula. Our baby, we need to take care of our fucking babies. What are we doing? Why is there a shortage on that? On just specifically that? Yeah. I know there's a shortage on everything, but like, there is no absolute, like there's no formula. Like you go to the store, it's gone. Yeah. And it's that's, been that's, like that with certain things at certain points, man. And, and it's, it's all, like, I really feel like it's death by design, man. It's the same shit as cigarettes, the same thing as alcohol. They know, they know the percentage of people that are going to die from doing things like this. And women, like they know. And there's, I get it because I, I asked a question online, and it was true. Like I want, like it was a serious question. I was like, hey, like why aren't women breastfeeding anymore? And I had a woman tell me she's like, well, it's because a lot of women don't produce milk like they should. That's facts. And they it's can't like, breastfeed. And there's and th- there's reasons for that. Let's go. You know what I mean? It's, it's that deeper goes than deeper, that. bro. That goes into your diet. That goes into, you know what I'm saying? It goes into different things. It goes into what you eat and, and the products you put on your body and your hair into your, you know, everything. Like, you, bro, the biggest organ on your body is your, is your skin. Yeah. So imagine all the lotions people rub on themselves, all the colognes people put on themselves. All that shit is getting absorbed into your fucking skin. Like... You might catch cancer from a cologne and never even know it was from the cologne. Or you might catch cancer from fucking a, a soap, a certain soap, and never know it was from the soap. Yep. Like, I'm telling you, bro, like, so you, you got to be real mindful about what you put into your body and, and shit like that. But let's not talk women, about the metals. It's, tr- it's true, though. Women, some women, some women can't produce milk. But then there's some women that just don't want to feel the discomfort of breastfeeding. Yep. And... For those women, I say you should probably breastfeed before you go get formula anyway, because that's what your baby's going to need more. Like the formula is a, su- it, it, it was always to be a substitute for the women that couldn't breastfeed. That's what, the, what that's what it's for. Mm-hmm. It's not for everybody. To, if your woman can breastfeed, that's what you want your baby drinking, because there's chemicals like they're bro. They were together for nine months. That milk is made for that baby. Specifically, like yep. there's nutrients and certain things that her body created for that baby. Yep, you know what I'm saying. So if she could breastfeed, my suggestion is go breastfeed. And a lot of women you know don't want to do it, even though they can. Uh, right, which, which it doesn't right. make sense. Where it's like, all right, so why why are y'all complaining? Like y'all well, like, produce it. Like the thing is, bro, uh, defending some women out there, bro. They're like going back in history, man. Look at how. Certain women have been looked at and treated by trying to breastfeed in like public, in public like, and you know shit. what I'm saying? Like yeah. shit like that. And there becomes there comes a stigma with it. Yeah. So women are like, all right, fuck it. I'll just give them a bottle everywhere I go. Yeah. They you know what I'm ba- saying? And, and that, but I it's mean, like, that's cool and all. But like, let's not talk about like the baby formula and what's really in it. And like they found metals, shit. metals and certain things that that was going into the baby that the baby doesn't need. That might be what it is. Like, it might have been true. It might have been a full recall and they're trying to act like there's just a shortage. Yeah. But like, they had to recall everything because they were like, yo, babies are really going to die from this and they don't want to fuck up their brand and, name. And, and that's you know what, what and that's like, what I told her. And she and she came out and she's like, well, that was just one brand and that was just one recall. I'm like, how many bro, other babies drank like you guys, are, y'all you guys are, are ignorant, so yeah. Man. Y'all, like, y'all are gullible. Know how many of these fucking formulas are made in the same factories? Y'all are gullible. There as might fuck. be three or four brands that are made literally in the same exact factory. Y'all are literally. y'all are gullible. That's all I gotta say. Y'all really believe anything and anything. Like I swear. Like there's some people that I meet that they don't have no tapestry smart whatsoever, and they think everybody's gonna like try to help them. Like, like, bro, there, there's not always a good agenda set out with these companies. There is Facts. a, like, can you guys ever like open up your consciousness? Can you guys like understand that? Like there is a another level of evil that y'all don't understand. No, like, the real evil, a, the real evil in this world is evil beyond imagination, bro. Like these people, these people don't care who they have to kill, who they have to get out of the way, what populations of people they got to get rid of. They'll get rid of full populations of people, bro. Just bro. to go make sure that they make some billions or trillions like, like there is there is a such thing as population control like i hope people yeah. i hope people understand that like i really really do because some bro. of y'all like 
It's Some death by design, man. I say it all the time. Death by design. Cigarettes, alcohol, like all types of shit. Drugs, Molly. Like we want to sit here and act like the cartels, you know, like all oh, the Mexican cartel is so bad. Do y'all know that there is an American cartel that they work with? <laughs> like yeah. you think it's just the Mexican cartel? Yeah. Like nigga, there's here, there's people here. You got the Italian that cartels. They, they're, they're like this, bro. They're like this with pharmaceutical companies, and yeah. they're the, they're they're solicitating a fucking service by being the middleman and be like, hey, I got some pure product that you guys can use in your f- pharmaceutical company, and yeah. it'll be a third of the price. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like people think like that shit like that don't happen in this country, and it's like, bro, like. Listen, bro, where there's power and there's money, there's corruption. And that ha- that's Mexico, America, Latin America, Asia. It doesn't, India. It doesn't matter where there you was go. No corruption, you know be, if there was no corruption, that's like saying, like, there's no crime ever. Yeah, it'd be like, bro, it's, like, not a, it's not a fucking rainbow and butterfly type of world, bro. Like, people out here are really, some people are really sick, man, and they're really fucked up. And they really have the power to make certain moves to fuck people up bro, mm-hmm. and kill people and, kill and do people. certain shit like and and it doesn't look like it because they're just a politician signing a piece of paper so it doesn't look like murder yep but it's murder <laughs> like you're just signing it instead of actually pulling the trigger yep. you're signing for them to go and do it you see what i'm saying like yeah it's just people it's don't understand up, so like we need to start taking care of us okay we got formulas going missing. We got some food shortages going missing. I feel like it's going to get worse. I, I really do. I, re- I honestly do. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I hope it doesn't happen, but I don't know, man. Nah, it's just being realistic, man. People, people, like, it's a, it's a good thing to be positive. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to be realistic. And you got to look at how things are going. And yeah. things ain't going good. We need to put metal detectors up. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why we have metal detectors and all this technology in the airports. But we can't have one simple ass metal detector in front of our schools in in the entrance you know you know what i saw the other day i saw a video on on uh facebook and i try to stay off facebook man i really do because it's like it's all negative at the end of the day it's all negative but what what i saw man was a video of a kid with his boys and it was in a high school and they were like man we ain't lacking man we ain't lacking bro they had a whole book bag full of guns glocks with extendeds Mm -hmm. like it was like packed to the top he had one on him. All his boys were walking by, showing it off. I'm like, I'm like, bro, these guys are kids. Like, I'm talking about like 15, 14 year old kids tatted up to their neck. And I was like, man, like this is yeah. Uh, but you th- you look at that. They're not the ones shooting the fucking school up. And that and that's and that's the crazy. <laughs> that's the crazy shit. And that's, I mentioned and that's it before. crazy too. I mentioned it before, and I'm not I'm not trying to make us look like no hard asses. But we had guns in school too. Yeah, I every, always say everybody. that. Like, there was guns in our school, like guns, bro. You never heard of nobody shooting each other. You heard of niggas getting their ass whooped. You heard of niggas fighting. Mm-hmm. You heard of group fights. You heard of things like that. But you never heard of nobody using the gun and somebody pulling out the gun. And it no. was for self defense, bro. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing. Like, it, 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 it's crazy. Like, like it, teachers need guns. Teachers, I feel like teachers. teachers like, I feel need like guns certain teachers should be also like armed, ex law enforcement or ex military and be trained to take care of an active shooter situation yeah we need like to we talked about in it in the last in the last thing john long shout out to him bro the head of you know the police department security and shit yeah. in ocala that dude bro is trained for that like trained to go we need somebody like that in every school bro and they they're out there man mm-hmm. there's guys out there that just came home and they're itching for a job like that and and they can't find a job you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like it, it just doesn't make sense, man. We gotta we have to invest in our teachers. We gotta make sure that they that they feel safe, man, in their in their environment where they work, where they where they teach our children. Our children are our future. Mm-hmm. So if they don't feel safe in a certain place, then it's like, how are we gonna move forward? Facts. And and you know what I'm saying, being that it's you know Memorial Weekend and all that, you know what I'm saying. Um, let's take care of our veterans, America. Let's take yeah. care of the veterans that that come home and fought for your gain, not for the prior or, or, or the freedom of the country. Because people always want to use that as an excuse. They fought for your personal gain, 
yeah. they came back fucked up. They lost, f- they lost friends, they lost family members. You know what I mean? Like they come back, their mental's not right. Their mental's not right. They lost their wife because he was gone for too long, so she found somebody else. Like there's a lot of shit these guys fucking deal with, man. Yeah. And it's like they come home and then they get treated like, and oh, the, you and, chose and, that. And at the and end, it, yeah. And at the end of the day, what 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 are they fighting for? Like you know, I just said, their personal gain. The people at the top. The people at the top. Th- th- that's who they're that fighting don't, for. That don't care about them. And wouldn't you know send I mean? their own son. Because that's the other thing. Because that's the, that's the thing, bro. Like, I was listening to Immortal Technique uh, speaking about this, and he made a lot of sense. He's like, what I respect about back in the days, like back back in the days when there was like kings and shit, not presidents, is that the king would go into the war himself. Yes, front line. He's there with the sword, like nah, nigga. We do. <laughs> nah. <laughs> like, Yo, kid, di- presidents don't do that. I'm the, the last one standing. That's what I'm saying. The president ain't going to war. He's not sending his son to war. He's not doing none of that. He yeah. cocoons his family and go sends everybody else out. And it's like, well, whoever dies, wh- dies, and we make our fucking money. Like that to me is pussy. Yeah. Be the king, nigga. If you're gonna be the king, be the king. Be in the front, be in the front line with an M16. Like I'm blowing this nigga shit back. Yeah, you like, know what I'm he, saying? Like that's true. In the older days, yeah. In the older days, that is true. That's a good point. They would be in the front line. They would be like, yo, and they if had the not, whitest horse. They, <laughs> they got the whitest horse. They got the whitest sword. They got everything white, bro. And they're like, yo, bro, you come over here. I'm gonna chop you up. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> my dog almost yeah, knocked me over. Nah, but that is so true, man. And then like yeah, don't let everybody else go, but like they're in charge. They're like, nah, Yo, they're bro, there. Yeah, like I am I'm, I'm watching everything happen and if I die, I'm gonna die. I right die here. here. I die here. Yeah. We all gotta find a new fucking king, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and that's I don't know, man. Nah, but I feel like it should be like that. Like if you if you too pussy to go to war, then don't start the war. No cap. If yeah. you too pussy to go to war yourself, that's why I respect Putin. As much as I don't agree what he's doing, bro, because that's barbaric to me. To me, yeah. that's barbaric. But that's internal affairs. Like I said, that's y'all business. But one thing I do respect about him is that he started off in the military. Like he went to war for yeah. real. <laughs> he was in the KGB, bro. He went to. He knows what. He knows like mm-hmm. what war is. So I respect that about him because he did that knowing what it brings. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But some some presidents are pussy, bro. They never seen a gun. They never held a real gun in their fucking life. And they're sending out troops to go kill people. Like, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Starting out fucking fake fucking movements and shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro! Everybody wanted to end nah, nah, bro. I had to shit, go on. Bro. I had to go on Facebook, man, and tell this dude, man. <laughs> And I was like, I put, I said, yo, all lives matter. I mean, black lives matter, right? Because all I saw was a video of a kid talking about Glocks and murder yeah. and showing off Glocks. Like, this kid shouldn't even have this gun. That's facts. Like, That's come facts. on, bro. Like, I'm seeing this and, I, and then y'all talking about murder and drugs. So when is it going to stop? Is it, is it, is it only okay when it's black and black? Yeah, I mean, like, like, let's yeah. keep it a buck. And then he's like, "Oh, well, you know, that's not cool. I don't agree with the title." And I was like, "Well, my point of it is, is I don't think it was a real movement." In my nah, opinion, that shit's been fake, bro. Yeah. I didn't say like, that. Like, like, we already showed proof. Like, I even told him, and he watches the podcast. And there was a clip of the one that I posted where it was like, "Yo, like, Black Lives Matter movement. They used the money to buy a six million dollar house in Beverly Hills mm-hmm. type thing." You know what I mean? And she admitted it to use for parties. Bro, I've like, been said it from like, the beginning. Like, Somebody please go back in time and find the clip. And then y'all talking about. When I about, told these niggas, I was like, yo, Black Lives Matter is fake. It was started, it was started by a Jewish white man. Like, how do you? How does a Black Lives Matter movement is started by a white man? And no one else could argue you know with saying? me. Like, they can't argue with me because they know me. They know me. They know bro, me in real life. That, like this, that, that guy didn't know. That was not a real movement, man. They was for gain, for certain people's gain. And the people yeah. that played their part, they got their just yeah. due. And you know what I'm saying? But God watches, bro. He's watching everything, bro. And yeah. that's it's like, y'all, we talked about it already, man. Like, that was that's fucked up. Y'all, y'all took people's money that were, they were given to a good cause to help people that got their family murdered. Yeah. That's what it was for. Yeah. It wasn't for anything else, bro. Like, at the end of the day, man, like, I don't know. I don't know. You can't let history die, but at some point we got to get to it. We got to turn the page and get to a new understanding where it's like, bro, like, <laughs> why does everything always got to be about it's, race? It's like y'all could, y'all could, I'm at the point right now where it's like, I don't care what you call me, bro. I know what I am and my people know who I am. You know what I'm saying? 
my friends, they know who the fuck I am. I don't got to sit here and prove to you about, oh, I'm not this. I'm not. Mm-hmm. like, bro, this is my opinion on it. It's facts. I don't go off emotion and feelings. Facts. Like, yeah, like that's, that's something I need to let, like, let everybody know is that there's some people that make judgments and, and go off political views off of feelings and emotions. Mm-hmm. I don't see it like that. Okay. Facts. I go off of facts and numbers. And if facts and numbers tell me this exact fact, then that's how it goes. It's a fucking fact. It's not an opinion. It's not how I'm feeling. It's literally a number and it's a fact. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. And that's, that's what I was trying to make known like, and, and make clear to this guy. It was like, yo, like you could feel how you want to feel. Facts. But Feelings that doesn't, don't change facts. Yeah. Feelings yeah. don't change reality, bro. No, I completely agree, bro. Yeah. That movement was never real. And there was plenty of black people that never supported it because they knew they were like, bro, that shit's not us. Yeah. <laughs> like that shit's for somebody else's gain. And that's cool, bro. Like yeah. they, it happens all the time. It was like when 9-11 happened and Warren Buffett, you know what I'm saying, sold, he made most of his money by selling insurance to people that were scared. Mm-hmm. After 9-11 You see what I'm saying Like Little scams like that Happen all the time And people don't fucking Give a fuck They yeah, don't talk yeah, about yeah. them Like yeah. that so But it was it's never, like It was never about it, it Right was. Right <laughs> is right And wrong is wrong It was never about The Black Lives Matter For real because It was about that, Making somebody rich Yeah if that real was the shit. case Then we'll stop The black on black violence You know That's what I mean facts. Let's keep it a buck bro Let's not get into the numbers And get into stats Because we can And it's there for a reason Like numbers don't lie Facts don't lie That's what it is and there wouldn't have been fucking black people's businesses burned down since if it was, since it was about black lives matter there wouldn't have, you wouldn't have burned down a black black owned business mm-hmm. what happened to black excellence what happened to black business black owned mm-hmm. but y'all burned down the whole building down for what for what you guys want to defund the police for what for real yeah that specific officer there is going to be bad apples you know what I mean? That's just what it. That's life. Yeah. Like that's but something I don't we know, can. Bro. I feel like this shit's just so old by this fucking point. Like, yeah, yeah, who gives a fuck? They got away with it the same way. It's like now nah, they they got locked up. Like, it, who, whether they got away with it or not, like who gives a fuck? People are gonna try to scam you every fucking day of your life, yeah, my nigga. Like, like you either fall for it or you don't. Yeah. Like, on this show, if you go back, we've been set from the beginning. That was some bullshit. It wasn't a real movement, and. I support Black Lives Matter in real life. Yeah. Like, bl- yeah. like black people matter to me in real life, yeah. not on a shirt, not because of a wristband or somewhere I donated to. Like, I don't my have nigga, to prove. Like, I don't I got, have to wear something got, yeah, and, and like, be like this to to, to facts, show. To like, show well, we no. got black family, black family, because everybody wants to use that French shit. Yeah. Nigga, we got black family. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, our opinions shouldn't sway your your opinion. We actually you know have a, like, we actually have a black man that's going to be on the show. So, bro, listen, man. We I've had black that I've racism actually, yeah. shit. To me, pulling the race card is racist on its own. It's just, it's just using the victim. Card. This is gonna be our second black you know person on the like, show. So it's like, what can you fucking say? Listen, come man. on, guys. This is not at about the end of the day. A scam is a scam, whether it's black, <laughs> white, yellow, or fucking purple. If like y'all decide, y'all want to be ghetto. Yeah, bro. Y'all, that's all yeah. a decision. We <laughs> we said wanna it, be, bro. Y'all want to be ghetto because like, we all have a little bit of ghetto in us. Bro, like we get we get a little ratchet sometimes, listen, you know what I mean? But ratchet it's like, is okay, but also having your on. shit together and not being a piece of shit to society is okay too. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Like everybody doesn't have to be a, a, a dope boy. Everybody doesn't have to be the shooter. Everybody doesn't have to be the tough guy. And that's where in today's society, especially with especially with all this drill music and shit going on, bro. Like that's just how it goes. People look up to that, and I, I fucks with the music. But at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, you got to understand, bro, that. That shit is entertainment. I say it all the time. It's all entertainment. So be a good person, man. And you know what I'm saying? Listen to your music. Do what you do. Dress how you dress. But understand that your choices always come with a fucking consequence, bro. But I'll tell you what. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, check us out on Patreon if you haven't done so already. And last but not least, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.